Away, here we go. Three two minute rounds. Southpaw versus Orthodox here. Very interesting. Normally favours a Southpaw because it confuses the Orthodox, but uh, it depends who and how you train with. Ryan throwing big heavy shots there. Uh, Vida's doing well to stay on the outside. A nice little counter left there thrown. A lot of bobbing and weaving here from Ryan. Um, he's, he's just, oh, brilliant right hand by Avedas there. Nice. He's gonna get. Uh, he's not been given a count there, so the referee must just thought it was a slip. He needs to keep his hands up against uh, a southpaw. Uh, they seem to get confused with the left hand coming over rather than the right, uh, and start to overcompensate for it, and then forget about the, uh, the right hand. And it's back there again in your face, and that's how we think he got dropped. Absolutely, yeah. Ryan looking a little bit flustered here, but he's he's hopefully gonna get his head together here and uh, maybe look to back out and you know kind of compose himself again. Vidas is doing the right thing though, he's, he's, he's keeping the pressure on now. Ryan's got a very, it obviously when he settles down he's got a boxing base, uh, Vidas is standing very tall, uh, more like a, a sort of a, a kickboxing K1 sort of stance more than anything and just seems to want to throw bombs. That straight left has been uh, the deciding factor for him in this round, I mean it's really found its home quite a few times. <laughs> If Ryan wants to get this round back, he needs to pick up the pace, do some damage, maybe even uh, drop Vedas himself. Um, he just seems to be circling now, very confused with the southpaw mentality. Yeah, I mean, that was definitely a, it was definitely a knockdown, but I'm not sure if the referee actually scored it as a knockdown because uh, he didn't give him the count. So It looked like a clean one to me, but if the, if the referee makes that decision, that's fine. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll, cast it, we'll cast it a slip. <laughs> It gets interesting when they, when they get really close in the pocket. They both seem to want to trade. It's more Ryan that steps backwards first. Um, maybe don't like the power that Vedas has got and is bringing here tonight. It does look like he, he's not happy with that power. I mean, Ryan, with his obviously, uh, he'd be in the shorter fighter, you would have thought he'd be in the pocket. And that's the end of the first round. Corners are in. Yeah, I think the main main benefit of that round for Vedas, well, well two things really, uh, is height and is that he's a southpaw. I think it confused Ryan a lot. Um, maybe maybe just took in that first round just to get used to it. May see a different fighter in the second round, but we'll see both corners here, given the advice that they both need. Yeah, that's a good point. You do see that a lot. You know, fighters getting their head back together again after the first round. You know, having a bad round and getting coming back to coming back to win. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. You know, it's both getting good advice here from the corners though. You both, you've been in this position plenty of time. I mean, what what would you be giving to Ryan's corner right now? What, what as Ryan's corner, what would you be giving him? What advice? I'd, I'd just be saying he needs to you know use his jab, even though he's he is out he is out uh, out range there. He needs to use his jab off some head movement and maybe set up a big overhand through the middle. Obviously, being a southpaw, it's going to be hard to land you know any other you know shots. It's not going to beat him to the jab, so he needs to beat him with those left hooks and straight either straight rights or big overhand. Here we go, uh, second round. Nice, he's, he's, he's straight in with that left hand again. Yeah, he's uh, one two jab followed by the left hand straight away, um, using, using it to his advantage. I mean, it's textbook stuff, you know, but that is basic stuff, day one stuff, but it's what wins fights. There's not much head movement for Vedas, but he doesn't seem to be paying for it right now. Um, he, he just seems to be using his, uh, his self mentality, and he hits him with a good left, right hand, a bit of a slip there. <laughs> Another slip, it but yeah, threw a right hand, went over on his balance. Uh, Ryan seems to want to couple as soon as he's seen him a balance, wanted to go in. He should be doing that through the rounds, to be quite honest with you. Um, he, he seems to be more outside like you said like for the shorter fight he should be stepping in uppercuts body shots uh, he's not doing that 
He need, there you go. He's starting to throw that left hook now. That's the kind of shot he needs to throw. That, maybe not the jab, but he needs to throw that left hook, get over that hand. Left hook, right hand is the textbook uh, southpaw stopper. Yeah, even if he fold up jab, uh, left hand, right hand, it, that that would be brilliant. Um, He's, he's ducking very low. Even for a short fighter, he's ducking low once he's throwing that when he's going to the body. He should be throwing it in, in combination more than anything if he's going for the body. I like what Vardis is doing. He, he, he's quite an active counterpuncher. I mean, he's not backing off, but he's, he's making Ryan miss and then hitting back when he does. I mean, it's quite advanced stuff. I mean, he's, this is his first boxing fight. This is his first fight at all. You know, he, it's quite advanced stuff. I'm quite pleased to see this. Both fighters looking, uh, looking very experienced for their uh, lack of experience. Yeah, when when let's see it then. Vedas uh, goes to um, hit the one-two combinations. R Ryan feels the power, turns away. Um, he's going back in for it. It's his game. Um, he should be staying more in the pocket, throwing the uppercut. Shouldn't be scared of the power unless he feels like he's, he may get dropped or or see, uh, knocked out. He should be staying in there, throwing body shots, throwing the the hooks, uppercuts, and the second round. It's been a, it's been an absolute uh, you know. You know, definitely both rounds quite heavily one-sided. I mean, Vidas has been landing that left hand all day. Uh, Ryan's obviously been very brave staying in there. He needs to move his head a little bit more, try and land some big shots. With this being the last round, he needs a stoppage. He does need a stoppage. Let's flip it on the other foot then. You're, either you're two rounds up here in Manchester Predators corner with Phil Flynn and Will Burke. Um, what would you be wanting as a fighter wanting them to say to you after two rounds of you it's more or less gone your way you can never trust the judges but what would you be saying to him right now uh, I'd be saying you know not not putting too much pressure on him saying oh you need a knockout but I'd be obviously telling giving him a sense of urgency making sure he realizes it, it's, it's make or break time Touch of gloves at the uh, start of the last round. Always nice to see a bit of sportsmanship there. It always is. Now like we just said Ryan needs the urgency now. Uh, needs to step forward, step up the pressure, step up the power, step up the shots, more combinations. Uh, Vegas needs to take his time. He really uh, has. He's come out. He's come out firing. Ryan has. He's going straight forward, but he's getting countered quite a lot here. I think he turned MMA then, going for a takedown. <laughs> nice double there. <laughs> Bit of a head clash there from Paul, no, it's that both fighters are okay. Nice right hand there from Ryan. That was his best success of the fight so far. And it, it seems to have taken some uh, taken some pep out of uh, Vidas there. His best combinations are from when he's pushing Ryan, uh, sorry, Ryan's pushing Vedas back. He needs to keep on doing that. Brilliant right uh, left hand by uh, right, Vedas to Ryan then. That was a great counter. Oh, and a nice uppercut there. And a nice push out there. You see what he does there? He goes under the armpit, pushes out, comes out the back door. That's that's classic, classic counter punch stuff. It's yeah, I think Vedas has noticed when a um, Ryan is throwing them left hands. He's, he's leaning too far forward. And he's counting him very, very, very well. Absolutely uh, fantastic showing here from both fighters, but especially Vedas is he's really uh, he's really shining in this match. Paul's not as a head clash there, make sure both fighters are okay. For Vedas, his first, or well, like his debut, never mind anything else, he's done a brilliant showing. He's very composed, uh, very comfortable in there, um, throwing good combinations. Knows he's got maybe the, uh, the upper hand being a southpaw, so he's using that. He's done well there, he's managed to turn, he turn it into a bit of a brawl in the last 10 seconds, but I don't think it'll be enough. That is what he needed to do from the get go. He needed to make this fight a dirty, you know, horrible fight. But he's getting countered here, and I think Vidas has done enough. Great fight, absolutely great fight. Brilliant three two minute rounds. Yeah.